When you need help or advice, you turn to your parents or a trusted friend for help. So why go outside of Virginia, your home, when you need car insurance? Abra Insurance gives you individual attention and won't turn your way no matter what your driving record looks like. Giving same-day personal service in the state of Virginia for over 30 years. Able Insurance, 979-0814 is the number. Ableinsurance.com is the site. What up, what up, what up, the Ballhawk Show? Say one more time. What up, what up, what up, the Ballhawk Show? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, do? Welcome to the Ball Hawk Show Podcast. I'm your host, Amaya Hawkins. I appreciate you taking time out today to rock with me on the MIC. What you say, what you say. Yes, we're feeling good, man. Feeling good. We're going to recap the Wahoos today. It's the first time tuning in to the Ball Hawk Show Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. And whatever platform you listen to the Ball Hawk Show, whether it's on uh, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, YouTube, Blog Talk Radio, Podbean, Google Play, TuneIn app, any platform, make sure you subscribe and follow your boy. And uh, go to iTunes and leave a review, man. It helps with the visibility, and I definitely appreciate all the support. So today's episode, we will be recapping the University of Virginia versus Georgia Tech. Yellow Jackets basketball game, which took place yesterday at John Paul Jones Arena with 14,000 94 people in attendance in that great arena. The number two Virginia Cavaliers won by 30 points by score 81 to 51. Who said the Who's can't score because they score over 80 points yet again this season. And they try to make that late season push. Um, They actually secure the double by in the ACC tournament. So what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to look at some post game notes courtesy of VirginiaSports.com. Going to look at some team individual stats, and then we'll go to the analyst part of the podcast, and then I'll discuss some things that, you know, has been discussed on social media or message boards or trash talk groups or discussion groups. Just depends, you know, whatever the spirit leads me. So let's jump right into it. Post game notes for this 81 to 51 victory for the Wahoos. Some team notes. Number two, Virginia now 25 and 2. 13 and 2 in the ACC secured a double bye for the 2019 ACC tournament. The Cavaliers have won 25 or more games for the ninth time in school history with five of the nine under 10th year head coach Tony Bennett. Virginia has won 13 or more league games for the fifth time in the last six seasons. The Cavaliers have won 13 or more home games in seven of the last eight seasons. The Cavaliers have a five-game winning streak against Georgia Tech and a seven-game winning streak against the Yellow Jackets in Charlottesville. Virginia is now 42-40 and 40 all-time versus Georgia Tech, including a 24-11 and 11 record in Charlottesville in a series that dates back to 1947 to 1948. UVA has held for, I'm about to say Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech to 54 points or less during the five-game winning streak in the series. Virginia is 12-2 and in its last 14 games against Georgia Tech, all under head coach Tony Bennett. UVA has held 21 opponents to 40% or less field goal shooting and 24 opponents to 33% or less three-point shooting. Good God. That's that's defense. That's defense, but that's the narrative they don't want you to they don't want you to focus on defense because it's born, remember? It's born, born, born. How dare you defend in this new age of basketball? All we want is dunks. No defense. And then when you don't defend, we're gonna call you out and make highlights like they did LeBron versus uh who were they playing? Memphis. Uh UVA had a eleven oh run en route to a forty one to twenty two halftime lead. Virginia is seven and zero. When scoring 80 or more points. Some player notes. Double figure scores. You better call Ty Jerome. You better call him. He's back. And his back is back. 19 points. 
I'm going to get into Ty Jerome a little bit later. DeAndre Hunter, 18 points. Cow guy, 11 points. Mom D. Blonde Head Diakite had three blocks. Extended his block shot streak to 20 games. Diakite also grabbed a career high eight rebounds. And Key Hay, man of the month, Clark, matched a career best with six assists. The last time he had six assists was versus Miami, and he also had six turnovers. So I know somebody going to remind me if I would just been bragging about a six assists. They would be like, well, you know, the last time he had six assists, he had six turnovers. He and Key Hay Clark's only turning the ball over, but hunk. if you look at advanced analytics and you look at this percentage, ah, I sip this shut the hell up juice for your analytics. How about that? And uh, analyze this juice and the quality of the juice. It goes down so smooth. And when it go down smooth, guess what you can't do? You can't talk to me no more. So let's go. Let's go to the team stats, shall we? Virginia scored 41 points in the first half, 40 points in the second half. Led by, you better call Ty Jerome. Played 26 minutes, was 8 of 13 for the field, 1 of 2 from 3. I'm so glad he made a 3 because him and uh, Cal was some trash can juice from 3. Their jumper was broken. They dropped, their, their jumper was like my ball hawk call at the end of last podcast it was all broken up that was the visual i mean that was the audio version of broken my ball hawk call at the end of the last podcast for uva it was terrible chuck it was just terrible uh he was two for four from the free throw line we come on fam i need i need i need better than that you you can't be going 50 percent from the free throw line i don't care if we won by 40 um you have five rebounds four assists just one turnover like I said, 19 points. DeAndre Hunter, 18 points. Played just 29 minutes. 6 of 10 from the field. Always efficient. 1 of 4 from 3. 5 for 5 from the free throw line. 4 rebounds. 3 assists. 2 turnovers. Cal Guy, 11 points in just 31 minutes. Everybody clap it up for Cal Guy not playing the whole damn game this game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't have it. I didn't see a four old by his name this game. He played thirty one. Man, that thirty one minutes might have been a little too much, but you know, Kyle can't sit down. You know, he likes to run around. The boy in shape. Uh, three or nine from the field. Three for six from three. That's what we love to see. Fifty percent from three. Thank you, Kyle guy, for being the guy. Uh, two for two from the free throw line. Just two defensive rebounds. One assist. One turnover. One steal. Uh, Key Hay Clark, the man who has been. Uh, so heavily critiqued everybody has their magnified glass on his game what he does wrong ball hog everybody's gonna sag off a key he can't shoot why is he out there he shouldn't be out there that long oh my god why 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 we need to put somebody else in there he can't shoot i can't move my arms you remember the christmas story the kid they can't move my arms rolling around in the snow that's how a lot of y'all Look to me on Twitter when y'all just be finding ways to just trash a little freshman named Kihei from Cali. Kihei from Cali. Well, I guess he listened. He pays attention to all the tweets. And he said, you wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym. He said in the paper, I'm going to keep shooting. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. He was three for three from the field. Two for two from three. Ladies and gentlemen, he was 100% from three. The one thing about basketball is it doesn't change. The rim stays the same. The look stays the same. Because they say they don't check you, Kihei. You shoot the ball. You shoot the ball. Shoot it. Shoot the J. That's what you do. Shoot it. That's what I need to hear. Same rotation. Splash it, Kihei. It don't matter. Shoot the ball, Kihei. If it's a great shot, get a great look. Great follow through. Hey, shoot it. And that's what you did. That's what I'm happy about. He had three rebounds also. Six assists. Zero turnovers. Still and still and still less than 30 overall turnovers on the season. For Mr. He always turned the ball over. Kihei Clark. Where advanced analytics said his turnover percentage per 40 minutes. Is, yeah. That that stuff. Don't get me started on that stuff, okay? I can't stand it. It's just, it's just, it's, why? Why? Why do we do that? Why? Why? Do we want coaches to sit on the sideline with a computer? Hey, yo, hey, yo, Ronnie, you right here to my right. Hey, go get it. Get your, get your, get your iPad. Look at the data in real time. 
so I can see who I can sub. What's it? What's that true shooting percentage right now? Huh? It is. Okay, get him out. I don't care. Get him out. His true shooting percentage ain't good right now. We got to get him out. How many shots? He took one. That's it. And what's his per? Because he he over two. So his per drop. What? Oh, yeah. He got to go. Yeah. I don't, oh, I don't care what. I mean, I know he limited this guy from scoring, but oh, he what? His guy scored how much? Oh, what? Oh, I mean, that's that's what it seems like. You know, we want people. We want coaches with with iPads. All in their hand, looking at the screen and not the game. But, hey, let me stop being petty. Mom, the Kite also was in the starting lineup. 23 minutes played. Seven rebounds. I mean, seven points, eight rebounds. Three blocks. Three or six from the field. One or two from the free throw line. Braxton Key played 22 minutes. Had eight points. Um, was two for three from three. That's dope because he shot good um, from the three-point line. And you, versus Virginia Tech. So it's always good to see Braxton Key also hit outside shots because I'm pretty sure, you know, even people don't talk about it. The narrative is pretty much the same with Kihei and Braxton. It's like sag off of them, let them shoot. The thing about Braxton is he's six foot eight. He can finish at the rim. So if you're sagging off of him, you know, he can eat the space up. He can slash. So that's the caveat. But with Kihei, oh, he's so short, he can't finish at the rim. Um, but I just hate having to compare two guys to see who's let it like less painful for y'all to see on the floor like i just appreciate what these guys bring to the table so you know excuse me for being petty yet again but that's just my nature sometimes um jay huff the unicorn played 17 minutes four or five from the floor uh four rebounds eight points yet another dunk that's what he do it seemed like kihei and jay have a you know have great timing because they find each other a lot. Ty Jerome had a nice little no look pass to to Jay for a dunk. Uh, speaking of dunking, Anthony Marco Marco Anthony that's an Anthony Marco Marco Anthony played four minutes, but he had a dunk. Good God, sprung everybody off their feet. So it's good to see him get some minutes. Jack Salt played just twelve minutes. Um, didn't register a point yet again, but he did have a block, one rebound. And according to advanced analytics, he had, like, the best defensive percentage. I, I mean, I know. Um, and then Cody played and Francisco played and, and, and Jaden Nixon also played. It didn't register um, any points. Um, so it was it was a good it was a good game overall. If you look at the team shooting, shot 53% in the first half, 58% in the second half, 55% from the field, shot 52% from three, nine to 17, shot 70% from the free throw line. Everything went right. For the Wahoos, you know, after having some scares versus, you know, Boston College and then going to Virginia Tech and then going to Louisville and having to come back from 10 points, it was good just to – for the team to be efficient on offense and defense. We started out a little slow, but we got rolling. They were playing that zone. We was attacking the high post. A lot of ball movement. And I know a lot of people were kind of worried when they came out of the zone with, you know, with Kihei out there. And Coach had a new star lineup. Um, he had Ty Jerome, DeAndre Hunter, Cal Guy, Kihei Clark, and Mommy Diakite. He said he rewarded this group because they played so well um, versus Louisville. And um, the guys say they trust Coach. Mommy Diakite made a great statement and made a great quote. He just said, yo, we just trust Coach, and we're always prepared. So, you know, that's let you know that the players are tuned in. Um, they really don't listen to the outside noise about why is this guy playing, why is that guy playing. I do think Kihei took notice to a lot of fans challenging his broken jump shot lately and, you know, just understanding the freshman wall and pushing through it and, and guys were excited that he hit an outside shot. Ty Jerome gave him a fist bump after his second three-point shot um, in the second half to put us up by 20-plus. And now uh, that just goes to show that Ty Jerome is that leader, that guy that, you know, went through ups and downs. As a, You know, here's a guy who missed every three-point shot versus Louisville, but we all know Ty is cold-blooded. Cold blood from New Rochelle, New York. Stories is amazing from his hips and just battling back so he fears nobody. People say Ty Jerome is slow. Ty Jerome can't do this. Why don't y'all just eat these photos in your mouth? That's what you can do. You know, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of people looking at Ty Jerome because he don't overly wow you with the ultra athleticism that we see with a lot of point guns that be dunking and crossing people over and step back and then jack it up, dumbass shot. The boy plays within himself. And he's a competitor. He basically like you see with Tom Brady. Tom Brady 
He don't look like much. But you know one thing. He refused to lose. And one thing I love about T.Y. Ty. One, one, uno, uno. From Thailand. He going to compete. And I wouldn't want any other point guard in the ACC than that dude. I know you got the Kobe Wade. I know you got the Trey Joneses. Oh, man. Come on, my hunky. Being such a homer. Man, you know what? That's my dog. I've been rocking with Taj Jerome since his first year here. Build a relationship with him. And when you know somebody's heart and you know their work ethic and you know how competitive they are and how pissed off they are for greatness, yes, you're going to become an advocate for them. So excuse me for getting excited when I see my dog hitting floaters in your mouth. Take that. Yeah, I may can't dunk, but I'm going to hit this floater. And when your athleticism leave you and you got to come in my lane, just realize I mastered the fundamental game. And that's Ty Jerome. Got to love Ty Jerome, man. Georgia Tech, they, they their shots was broken yesterday. 30, 30, 37% from the field, 29% from three-point land. Um, hey, man, our Wahoos just did what they got to do. It's not too much you can really just dive into this game and really try to overanalyze. We did what we were supposed to do versus an inferior opponent. Uh, we executed well. Um, we got back to the basics. It's good to see guys seeing the ball go through the hoop that struggled. Um, Cal has been carrying us the past couple games, scoring 20 points back to back to back to back to back. So it was very refreshing to see Ty Jerome get out in the forefront and be aggressive and attack the zone and get into the lane and finish with his folder, you know, from the middle of the paint to the right to the left, just being so crafty. And like I said, just seeing Kihei, seeing the ball go through the basket because the kid does so much on defense of having to guard a Jose Alvarado, who's a dynamic ball handler for Georgia Tech, even though Alvarado still scored 12 points, just seeing Kihei making it tough for them to get into their sets and the just the simple passes off of screens and entry passes because of his pressure. I mean, it's a lot of things that Kihei does that won't show up in advanced analytics, and that's why I'm not a, that's not a huge proponent in my analysis. Like, I, just, I review film, and I look at how it affects the moving parts around people you know like it's a nice basis to look at numbers and don't get me wrong I don't cast any aspersions to anybody that looks at numbers and bases their arguments on numbers but I look I like I trust my eyes I trust who I talk to I trust how they tell me to break down film and I trust the moving parts and then I, I may look at the the advanced analytics just to get an idea of everything that I'm seeing and then I'm like well damn that doesn't match up because I see what this kid is really doing. But the numbers I have you saying, sit that kid down. And it's just tough. It's just really tough. It's, it's no different than what I'm going to talk about in the NFL Combine. And they talk about Kyler Murray and his height and weight. And they do body fat. And they do the size of your hand. But they'll never you, – what thing you can't measure that's so important with an athlete is their heart. Because a lot of times you got all these people with all these measurables and athleticism, but they got small hearts. And their heart pump Kool-Aid. And when the moment get tough, they disappear. They they place blame on others. And they're so inferior in the spotlight. And that's the one thing I wish. That they could just take an x-ray machine and just formulate a way to measure somebody's heart at that opportune moment, moment to when the spotlight is hot and that crowd is loud and got that many seconds on the clock. Let me see what your heart do. That's what I say. Let me see what your heart do. You going to show up in crunch time? Or is your heart going to be broken? And you going to just cower? Because that's one thing advanced analytics can't measure. It can't measure that. You know, you always see them say, oh, man, all game. He just couldn't. He couldn't hit anything. But on the, 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 the biggest moment, he had the kahunas to take that shot and he hit it. You've been struggling all game, but in the in the heat in the last seconds, you took the shot. Your team believed in you. How did it feel? I've been doing this all the time in practice. I'm gonna just keep shooting. I ain't gonna talk your head off because, like I said, man, it's a Georgia Tech game. We handle business. So you know the motto: "Good is the enemy of great." Be great in everything that you do. Wahoo fans, enjoy the ride like my man Anthony said for the say. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy what Coach Tony Bennett has built. 
Don't get too caught up in what other programs, the attention that they get or the avatars and the monsters that they get. Appreciate the foundation that's set here. Appreciate the principles in which our team um, practices and and the stills in themselves and the way that they play basketball, the sportsmanship, the servitude that they display. That goes a long way. It goes a long way. Whether a, a, a player is here two years, three years, four years, it's instilled in them. Like Merrill Shack is at Iowa State. So happy that that young man is succeeding. But he's taking the principles that Tony Bennett shared with him and instilled to him here and branched it out in Iowa State. And you want to see somebody when they choose to transfer and do what's best for them. Do well. Because they know what home is. They know the foundations that were set upon them. And that's why I have no ill will versus a Merrill Shayok when people say, well, Tony Bennett was holding them back. Hey, man, coaches have their systems. You got to do what's best for the team. What Coach has done with this university and the system he has in place has done this program. Uh, it has done a lot. I don't even want to look for the, the, the best word, the best descriptor. It's done a lot. Now we all want to go deep into the playoffs, and we all overanalyze things to see how it would translate in the postseason. Here's the one thing that I found out. When Virginia scores at least 70 points in the playoffs, in the NCAAs, we win. But games where we are held under 60 points, and you look at the teams that beat us, like the Floridas, when we score like 39 points or something like that, and when Michigan State beat us, you know, in the 50s, the mid-50s, the goal is, hey, man, we just got to score with the limited possessions that we use in games. Cause that's what we do. We limit possessions. And we limit ourselves also when we don't score. So the main thing is just making sure you're efficient, you're shooting well from the field, and you're playing defense. It can be so simple but also so difficult because the lights are bright. And now everybody's like, Virginia, you're going you're gonna to choke in the postseason. All right, man, we ain't going to choke. Ball Hawk here, appreciate you for t- tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to SCHUjuice.com. Get your Shut the Hell Up Juice apparel. And that's all I got, man. Good as the enemy are great. Be great in everything that you do. Ball hawk, baby. Ha ha! Yes, sir. You hear that ball hawk ain't broken today. Ha ha! Ball hawk, I'm out. I don't even know where you sit. I want the whole world spin my record. Shero, the hoodie styles, check game, stay free records. Ho! Shorty girl, fed the death in a massaging. Bad news, even be massaging. I got a fitted hip, I be massaging. Pinky rings on my finger, I'm massaging. I got a speedboat concert, cause I massage. I coming through and buy the whole account of large. I be massaging. I be massaged. I'm coming through with Cadillacs and massaging. Yeah, I post some constantly massaging. I got GPS, I be massaging. I catch croaker fish, cause I'm massaging. I like a macaroni plate, I be massaging. Even oodles and noodles, I be massaging. Straight out the ghetto, cause I'm massaging. I got ice around my neck, cause I'm massaging. Or even gold teeth, I massaging. A pinky ring iced out, cause I'm massaging. I got a hundred million dollars, I be massaging. I got ten. I be massaging. I got a thousand dollars. I be massaging. I got twenty-two cent and be massaging. I take a penny and be massaging. I tell a shorty girl fat. I be massaging. Your big two. I be massaging. I be massaging. I be massaging. I got a GPS stern with massaging. Whole shit road chain be massaging. I got a Uzi. I be massaging. I got a twelve gauge pump. I massage. I got a hundred thousand. I massage. I ain't broke, I be massaging. I stay paid, I be massaging. I stay late, I be massaging. I hit the poop all night cause I'm massaging. She wanna come through loaded and massage. Whole team, we massage. Bad new party constantly massage. Ain't no joke, I be massaging. Even the bacon and eggs, I be massaging. Huh? Polo shirts, Santo Adidas, I be massaging. I love you, sweetie cake. Spin my record, let me give you the game 
own how to get rich Take a penny And flip a penny The 40 billion Huh? Why? I be massaging What? Car steering wheel I be massaging The whole The whole label Of the state free records In the VA oh, We be massaging Let's have a money shot